Let's talk about how to do a half cab onto a rail. Now, a half cab onto a rail can be a super sick trick, and it can also be a setup trick for a lot of other tricks. If you can half cab onto a rail, which meaning a switch 180 onto a rail, then you are get into a standard 50-50, which can set you up for a lot of different spins out, whether you're doing a front side 360 out, whatever it is, off the rail. So the first step to start learning combos on rails is to learn this half cab onto a rail. Now the half cab, again, I would say practice this trick on a box, an easy rail first, and slowly work your way up because it's an easy trick to progress at and it's just one of those tricks that you know you can start small. You don't need to jump into some big rail first. You can start with the basics and work your way up. To do these to do this trick, you're gonna wanna be able to ride switch pretty comfortably. You're gonna wanna have the ability to do a half cab on the snow first, and you're gonna also want the ability to be able to 50-50 a rail pretty comfortably. If you have these three ingredients, then putting the recipe together is gonna be no problem. And if you don't, that's no worries. Go practice, we got other videos where you can go learn all these tricks individually and slowly, again, use those baby steps to work your way up. It's pretty much the same with a lot of rail tricks is you're always gonna wanna keep that rail in sight. You never wanna be in a spot where you lose sight of the rail because that's how you can get hurt and really fall off the rail because you lose control. So as you're going into this feature, you're gonna be coming in switch with the rail behind you, right? So it's gonna be like doing that back 50, but you're coming in switch. So for this trick, I'd be coming in regular. I'm gonna put my left foot onto the rail first, almost like I'm trying to do a board slide, but then I'm just gonna use my momentum to spin me around to the 180, to the complete 180 degrees. Now, this trick I see a lot of people fail at because they just do big front one onto the rail, which it can work out, don't get me wrong. But a little tip I like to do is try to put your back foot on first and then rotating onto the rail. I'm gonna come into the rail, put my front foot onto the rail, and then swivel another 90 degrees to do, complete the 180 onto this rail. Now what I can do is really push my back shoulder to be facing downhill to give me that full half cab rotation onto the rail, onto this feature. You're coming in on that heel side edge with your knees low, your body low to the ground, and you're in that attack position. You're gonna almost wanna think of setting that front foot on and then pushing your front, your back shoulder towards the downhill slope to be parallel with the rail. As you do this, what happens is when you lock in that back foot first and then swivel the front foot on, it's gonna give you a lot more control on that rail. Then from there, because you'll be set up on that 50-50 really comfortable, all you gotta do is ride it out like you would a normal 50-50, and it turns out to be a lot easier of a trick than you think. Again, if you can just if you have the three recipes of doing a half cab, hitting a 50-50, and riding switch, then you just put these three together onto a rail and you will be able to do this trick no problem.